Okay, hello guys. So I saw something on YouTube, on sorry, on Twitter, that it tried to compare DeepSeek R, which is the new model, and uh, it's open source, and uh, it claims that it can beat OpenAI O1 model. So I saw this on uh, Twitter or X that someone posted that. Uh, DeepSeek is way better than uh, OpenAI O1 model in generating code specifically. So I got interested and I kind of wanted to try it and I'm recording this video to uh, share it with you guys. So in this step here is my personal account on OpenAI ChatGPT and as you can see I choose O1 and here I used a, a simple prompt so I ask simulate a field triangle with a bar inside it so uh, the post that I saw on Twitter was the triangle was also moving but this is this is a simpler version of that this is just a triangle with a ball inside it so the ball is moving inside the triangle and i asked it to give me the python code so Ovan uh, taught about triangle simulation with ball for nine seconds and it gave me the output right so I'm gonna uh, install this. So here I have my VS code open. So first I'm gonna create a new virtual environment. And And try to install this here. Oops. Okay, and it gave me a code. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new file o1.py and paste the code here and python o1.py let's see what will happen okay so it gave me this error it's very bad right so i passed the error to chat gpt this is the same error assertion error the shapes body must be added blah blah and we have here okay so I passed the so it thought about 12 seconds more it fixed the error and it told me to replace the create triangle function so I'm gonna go to this and delete this and add the new function and run this okay you saw what happened and by the way today is january 23rd 2025 anyway let's run it again why like i told Oman that the ball is inside the triangle but apparently it couldn't understand and the ball is outside what so 
I copied the same prompt, like I exactly copied this. I went to DeepSeek, this is my personal account on DeepSeek. I pasted the prompt and I used the R1. So as you can see, it taught for 172 seconds. So that one was 9 seconds initially and after I passed the arrow was 12 seconds, so 21 seconds. But the initial thought for deep seek was 172 seconds, so it's it's a long time. And but does it worth it? Okay. So and and also you can see the chain of thoughts here. But let's see. Yeah, very a small uh, chain of thoughts reasoning here and also here but here you can see that the chain of thought is really really amazing and complete okay I'm gonna skip it and I scroll down and finally after 100 seconds we have this code right so let's get back here I'm gonna create a new file deep seek.py and python beautiful <laughs> this is crazy like I wanna cancel my open AI subscription today Thank you for watching this. Subscribe! <laughs>